Hey guys, Sam here at NA Studios. Today I want to show you how you can create an aggregate device so you can use more than one audio interface to record into your door. It's so easy to do on Mac OS and I'm going to show you how to do it now. Let's check it out. So you'll notice that I've got two microphones in front of me. I've got one here which is going into my normal interface, it's an Audient ID44, and then the second one, the SM7, is going into a Behringer UCM404 HD. That's an interface that I picked up the other day, very inexpensively. I've bought it as a present for my dad. Hopefully he's not watching. So what I'm going to do is create a, an aggregate device where I can record through both microphones plugged into two different interfaces and just treat them as one device. Super easy to do. Here it is. You need to open up Audio MIDI Setup first and you'll be met with something that looks a bit like this. Now, I've currently got my Audion ID44 set up and this is 20 ins, 20 outs, etc. It's just sitting there because that's what I'm using. So you need to go down to the plus symbol at the bottom. I'm going to create aggregate device. And then from there, you can select which interfaces you want to be included in this device. So I'm going to check my Audion ID44 and then the UMC404. Now this is essentially combined two devices to create one device that your door is then going to recognize as one, your aggregate device. And you can see here, the stuff in yellow is the Audion and the stuff in purple is the UMC. You can see it at the top here. If I were to check them in the different order, if I were to go UMC first and then Audion, then the UMC inputs and outputs would be first before the Audion. But I like it the other way around because I've got my stuff labeled in, uh, in Logic. So I'm going to go Audion first and then after that, the UMC. So importantly, we can see that input one goes to one, input two goes to two, etc. And then over at the UMC, input one comes in at number 21. And that's going to be important when you're routing stuff in your door in a moment. So that's fine. We don't have to click OK or anything like that. It's just completely set up. Then in Logic, I'm going to go up to Preferences and Audio. And at the moment, my output device is set to ScreenFlick, which is the screen capture software that I'm using at the moment. Not affiliated, but please give me some money if you want. So at the moment, I'm set up so that it will output through there, which is fine. And my input is currently at my audience. So I need to change that to UMC. Um, but I'm not going to do that with everything on because that's going to turn everything a little bit crazy. Uh, so be right back. OK, I'm back and I've got it set to aggregate device for the input. So now if I go over to my channels here, so I'm going to call the first one, it's an SE Dynacaster, and the second one is an SM7B. So the Dynacaster is plugged into input one of the Audient device. So if I go over to my audio MIDI setup, input one is input one. That's fine. If I click record here, I can see my input. One, two, one, two. I can see it going on there. Then number two is the SM7B. Now you need to work out where your input is here. And we know that number 21 is input one on the second device, the purple device, the UMC. So I'm gonna go into my inputs over here. Input, input number 21. And then when I record arm this, I can see my vocal is coming through. And we can see which one's which. I'm just gonna do that horrible thing of tapping the mic because you're obviously gonna be hearing my voice through each microphone. So just to determine which one's which, this is the Dynacaster in number one and the SM7B in number two. Couldn't be simpler. If you want to record more tracks than you have inputs for, say you've got a two-channel interface and you want to record overheads and kick and snare, where well, you can't do it, but your friend's got a two-channel interface as well, where well, you can borrow that, you can create an aggregate device, and you can set those two up to record four channels in. It's so simple. One thing you need to be aware of though is over on Audio MIDI Setup, you just need to make sure that the drift correction, you want that to be applied for both of them. I'm not going to go into it too much right now, but it's just going to keep everything synchronized and that's going to be what you want, especially if you're recording drums. You can set your clock source and I tend to make it so the one that I think is kind of the better device and the Audion is kind of better than the Behringer. So I'm having that as the clock source. Equally, you could have it as an external clock or something else, but that's what I'm setting out as at the moment. Hope that's been useful for you. A super easy way to get more inputs into your door without having to upgrade your interface. You can just add another interface into the mix and fantastic, you can record more microphones than you originally could. Thanks so much for checking it out. I'll see you again soon. Take care.